Here's what I'd like to see in music. I'm looking... I set up actually different um, channels of music in my house at night when I'm relaxing. And I'm trying to find any sort of pre-packaged music that would have a combination of elements that I would call Baroque, Bach, Mozart, a little bit of Chopin. Not necessarily all Baroque, but let's say definitely of the Baroque flavor. And lots of nature sounds, satanic black metal, sort of Norwegian black metal, uh, lots of nature sounds, whales, wolves, eagles, bears, if you fucking name it, storms, thunder, um, seas, planes, you know, coming out of the sky, gunfire, um, and then, you know, the birth of spring, and, uh, people rolling around in meadows uh, or beneath the moon with blazing fires and their faces uh, distorted, distorted in maniacal, twisted in maniacal grins and howls of lust and pleasure and hatred and deranged hysteria and sexual fever, finally melting into joyful pleasure and bliss in all creation. Because make no mistake, I believe our heritage is, is much smarter than we are led to believe, for one, and that gods are servants. Gods in a cybernetic society are servants. They're like artificial intelligence programs. And it's just the god goo is 3D printed into this religion over here, 3D printed into that religion. And if you're paying income tax, you're paying a god, and you're paying the one whom that god serves. And if you were to find a religion that could sort of wind your way back into the into the uh, the whirlwind, I think it would probably be animism. If by animism we in, we include native psychology, native psychology, native embryology, native cognitive development, I mean, leave no stone stone unturned. If your complaints about the world, which are manifold, and by the way, are exactly what the government wants you to complain about it and then go and pay your fucking taxes every year. For the best possible effect, must hate government. Or the next religion that's blessedly similar and different than your own. Right? You pay income tax, you're paying a god. The god of working for a living. Why are you paying your flesh and blood? Why are you paying that? You're paying tribute. And that God is very successful, right? Think about what it feels like to feel the need to pay that God, or that government, or that corporation. You're giving a lot, aren't you? And it feels right. So it's gotten into your physiology, customs, language, voice, all incredibly homogenized when seen from the perspective of someone who lives without paying any of the gods. The gods are servants. The only god that is not a servant of one who is, might as well be the, the top serial killers in the world are those of your own family. And this, this, this drain then goes down into the language of our flesh and blood because your voice began its emergence in the world when your flesh and blood began its emergence into the world. There is a convergence there that is nowhere near testified to and not to by the Big Bang that has no sexual anatomy any more than any religion does and reveals a good deal, in fact. Perhaps as it has to, perhaps as it wants to, perhaps as it accidentally has done so, never expecting that anyone would pay attention, that a universe that comes from nothing is probably a pretty fucked up universe. Right. It probably means nothing, doesn't it? Right? And the best God means nothing and comes from nothing and tells you they come from nothing because you have nowhere to go then, do you? That God has grown. That God adapts to each new generation as well as the most sophisticated computer in the world or predator or man. Take your pick. 